How's it going everybody? This is Matt and I'm heading out to Egg Rock again. I left from Kings Beach in Lynn, Massachusetts and I'm heading out to Egg Rock with the camera for the second time. I'm hoping that this time I actually get better footage of it. Uh, last time I was in my old kayak. That was my Boreal Design and Nuckshuck. Now I'm in my new kayak. This is my skin on frame uh, Greenland kayak which was modeled after the 1931 Disco Bay which is in a museum in Canada somewhere. So Egg Rock's where I'm heading and hopefully I will get some good footage of it and uh, pop it on YouTube. Up view I've ever got of it. I would love to climb on it someday, I really would, but it's, I think it's against the law, really. I don't think I should. Probably get in trouble. Maybe even have my precious kayak stolen from me by the government. They like to steal things from people, don't they? Jerks. The current's actually fairly strong. It's pulling me, uh, probably top of some rocks right now, really. I don't want to hear anybody saying it's ain't a good view. That's a good view. This is the side facing the hunt. Right on top of it. It was right on top of the so I said. So if you're looking from the hunt, this is the side you're looking at. I have strong suspicions that the white rock is all bird shit. I'm still upwind of it so I can't smell a dang thing, which is great. But it does stink when you're downwind of it. See, it's all open ocean from here. There's really nothing. Uh, you got Graves Lighthouse way up there. I believe Winthrop is way off to the right. And the Revere Beach is on the other side of uh, Nahant. But this is all open right out here. This is the very back of Egg Rock again. This is the very back side of it. I don't even know if you can see the whole thing in the camera's view. We're pretty close. I was hoping that the, the old, I thought the old uh, lighthouse, uh, the old ramp for it anyway, the boat launch. I thought part of that was still here, but I guess not. I think it was on the back side, if I'm remembering right. I guess it ain't here though. I, I remember most of it got washed away in a storm. I thought bits and pieces of it still existed, but I, I suppose not. I mean, this thing gets absolutely thrashed. When there's a storm, I mean, the waves literally go over this rock. I mean, you can stand there from the beach in Lynn and watch it, and it's pretty, freaking crazy just to think that waves could make it over this rock i mean that thing is big you know it's way above sea level i don't know i thought it was like 80 feet or something or like 50 feet or something like that those are some big effing waves to make it over that 
So I guess I just, uh, actually, you know what? I just went in between the two rocks that you can't see from the beach. That's what I just did. I didn't even realize that. This is one hell of a close-up though, right? Literally 10, 15 feet from it. This is in the hot side. So if the water was completely flat, which it's, I mean, it's almost, but it's not completely. Can I get it? Can I, do you think I can get it? I reach out. And, oh, all right, I'm nervous. It's gonna push me to the rock. All right, forget it. I'm not touching that rock. I'm not that good at, um, as you can tell, playing near rocks. It's not something I practice much. <laughs> I got so close, but I chickened out at the last minute. Oh well, maybe someday I will reach out and touch a rock. I need to find a better landing spot there. See you at the beach.